What's up everyone, it's the Taste Maker, and if you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you're an oldie but goodie, hey boo, how you been? So glad that you are back on my channel watching this video. So today, you guys, I have a video that I have been wanting to record for the past couple of weeks now. I was just trying to get all of my colors and shades together, trying to figure out what I like, what I don't like, and what I think will work for us. So when it comes to the winter slash fall seasons, I really love vampy colors. I love dark colors. I really, really like those types of colors. So today I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite burgundy, vampy, purple shades that I have that I think really suit deeper skin tones. This color that I have on now is like an obsession. I think it looks really good with my hair and my whole look. It just looks really nice. And if you aren't already, make sure that you guys are following me on Instagram and Snapchat. I'm trying to be more active on Instagram, so please, if you can, you know, show your girl some love on there. If you don't already, make sure you follow me on Snapchat. I'm on there on a daily basis. So I have about seven different shades that I'm gonna share with you guys today, and they range from both brown to like dark brown, burgundy, red color, some purples. I put a little bit of everything in there because some of these colors, they're not necessarily vampy, but they are on the darker side, so you can still get away with that kind of vamp life kind of look, which I love. I really love like all black. That is like my favorite color. Like I can wear all black every day. It's something about black that's just so chic. And the same thing when I wear dark lip colors, like I just feel like such a badass. Like I really do. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so the first shade that I'm gonna be trying on is actually a gloss. Now I wanted to start off with a gloss because I just feel like it's more like something that I'm into. I really, really love lip glosses. That's most of the time what I'm wearing is either chapstick or some kind of colored tinted gloss. And today's tinted gloss is actually by Kylie's Cosmetics and Kylie Cosmetics, and this is in the shade Jolly. Now, you guys have seen me review this shade in the past. You guys have seen me wear this in my video. I actually wore this in my how to record HD videos. Um, on your iPhone, tablet, or Android, I wore this lip color in there. And this is just a really nice, dark, like purple, vampy purple. Yes, I have some situations over here. I was trying to figure out which shades I wanted to use. So here is what Jolly looks like swatched, and that is with one swipe, okay? One swipe, and that's what it's looking like. This is the applicator. I'm not gonna go into a full on review on the lip product because I just want you guys to see what this looks like. Jolly looks like. This is definitely a favorite of mine. I absolutely love this color. Definitely will be wearing this a lot this season. And yeah, and this is by Kylie Cosmetics. And if you would like to see a full on review on this lip product, you can definitely click on the link right up there, right over here somewhere. But without further ado, let's get into the next shade this next shade that i'm about to try on for you guys is by wet and wild this is also something that has been featured on my channel in the past so i will leave a link to that video here so you guys can go ahead and watch that if you would like to see a full-on review of this lip product now this is the wet and wild cat suit liquid lipstick and this is in the shade goth topic this is what it looks like in the container it is a very vampy ish kind of color
try out for you guys is by NYX Cosmetics. And this is the Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Copenhagen or Copenhagen. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, but yeah, so that's what this one is. Now, this one is very, very smooth and has more of a moussey kind of feel to it. And this is also more so like on the purplish side the other two were also in the purple family and this one is as well so if you're someone who wants something that isn't a gloss but isn't dry as but isn't as dry as like a liquid lipstick i would definitely opt for this one because it is very very soft when they say soft matte they really mean that so if you want a matte finish what you still want to have some kind of moisture this will be great for you So the next shade I'm going to try on is actually limited edition. The next two shades are actually limited edition things, but you can find dupes for these things. These are just some of my favorite colors. I'm pretty sure that if you do your research, someone out there is reselling these. Now this is from the Sophia Amoruso Matte Collection. I am obsessed with Sophia Amoruso. Anybody that knows me knows that. I have literally every book that she has ever written, published. I've watched the entire Netflix series and I purchased her lipstick when they came out I'm obsessed her huge fan so I bought both of these shades now the first one that I'm going to show you guys is this one here this is a burgundy shade now it looks red on camera in person it's such a deep like ox like that just deep like blood red like blood type of burgundy color on camera it's showing up a little bit lighter maybe back here you guys can that's actually a little bit better so that shade is a little bit closer than what it is up here up here it looks more of like a burgundy like red color back here this is a true color this is a matte finish and this is in the shade runner now i'm pretty sure that mac has a dupe for this i'm sure you can find it but let's go ahead and apply this one the Sophia Amoruso matte collection I have Gunner which is this deep dark purple color also this one looks really purple up close but I think if I pull it back you guys can definitely see this is the true color it is a very dark purple I really like this purple it's very unique um to me I feel like it's a different purple from purples that I've seen in the past but if you feel like you can possibly find a dupe for this go for it um but yeah so here is what Gunner looks like you know i really like this color but now that i look at it it's definitely not for the vampy kind of look it's just darker in here than it is like on the lip i don't know on the lip is definitely like a true purple I'm gonna keep this in the video anyway, just so you guys can see. I know my application is crazy, cause I don't really wanna edit that out. I just wanted you guys to kinda get like my natural organic reactions with these kinds of things. So this one is a no, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. So All right, you guys, so that one was a miss, but let's see if we can find another shade. Now this next color that I'm gonna show you guys is also purple, and this one right here, I'm already knowing. This is definitely one. Now this is an older product. This is something that I've tried out, I would say at least about a year or so ago and this is by ColourPop and this is ColourPop's Guess. Now this shade right here is not for uh, 
the timid at all because it's a definitely a very very bold color and with these kind of colors you really want to make sure that you're very careful with the application by ColourPop and they are in the burgundy family so we're completely done with purples and we're finishing off with burgundy shades also an OG product from ColourPop this is part of their matte liquid lipsticks as well the first ones they came out with and this is in the shade LAX I uh, love this freaking color now because LAX looks very similar to this next shade that I'm gonna show you I'm gonna swatch both of them next to each other so you guys can see what they look like so one of the shades is called prim and i got this for free earlier this year and then this one is lax so let's go ahead and swatch lax here it's gonna do one quick one like that you guys see love this one and then this is prim so you guys can see lax is more on the um, I would say LAX is more so on the brown, like dark brownish kind of red color. And then Prim is more close to a red shade. So I'm going to try both of these on for you guys. And by ColourPop and this is an ultra satin lip this is not their regular matte lipstick that they have this is the ultra satin formula so it's a little bit different and this is the mini size because I got it for free this video i hope that you guys got something out of it i hope you like the shades if you do decide to try out any of these colors please let me know what your experience was in the comment section down below and if you have some of your own favorite shades that you like to wear around this time of the season please leave them down below i would love to check them out and know what are some of your favorite fall lip shades and until next time deuces